we moved to Goshen and built a home up there and had 70 acres, which were wonderful. And we, I worked that and used very few people to come in and help me. And uh, suddenly realized we were rapidly getting to the point where as my age advanced, my ability to care for the land and mow the grass and mow the fields and everything became more difficult. So we figured we better make some sort of a change into a more sheltered environment. The fact that we didn't have children, at least a large number of them locally, made us feel that we would want to be independent of our children and not follow them since they were pretty well scattered over the eastern seaboard. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we we started looking at a, at places. Uh, we had uh, surveyed a number of places looking for a home for Barbara's parents who were elderly at that time and uh, so had seen some areas locally around Litchfield, uh, Torrington and so forth and uh, then we heard, I don't know, how did we find out about this place? We didn't know, well we knew some, we decided we weren't going to move but we needed a plan because we thought, first we thought we'd hire people and then we thought, um, but what what we really love so much about where we live is doing everything ourselves with a little help. And also, we started thinking what terrible stewardship that would be if we hired somebody, if something happened to one of us and we were there in this huge house and we really shouldn't be doing that. We knew of some folks who had been here and they'd been here quite some time. We knew of them from when we lived in Goshen, in Litchfield. And um, so we said, well, let's start here. And then we came down, and we were really impressed with the marketing meeting and the idea that you could put a deposit down. And um, there was no, if, if you weren't ready when it was time to move here, they had something available for you, you could just say we weren't ready, and you wouldn't go to the bottom of the list. You'd be able to stay at the top. And that was very appealing. So um, we left the marketing meeting and said, um, okay, we'll go home, and we'll think about this. We still weren't ready. And then, um, how did we go? Oh, we said, now we'll go back one more time, because we were quite impressed. We'll go back one more time, and we'll go back with our eyes wide open, and then we'll find out what's really wrong here. And we came back the second time, and it was better than the first time. We couldn't believe it. We had the tour of the hospital, everything. First time it was a shorter tour, of course, and we loved it. So we put our name on the list, and... Um, our house, we thought it would take quite a while because it was an unusual house, a post and beam. And so we put our name in the list and then the realtor said, you're not going to find a place to live probably. You won't be able to sell your house for a couple years. So all of a sudden, nine years later, friends we knew were downsizing. They wanted our house and then this became available and here we are. I thought it would be an adjustment because we never wanted to live in a retirement community. Bill is older than I am, and I thought, we both said, no, we're going to stay at home, have people care for us, the whole thing. And then once we got here, it was really quite remarkable, because the moment we got here, it was just as though this is where we were supposed to be, when we were supposed to be there, and everything was amazing. We were here for six months, and Bill said, um, are you happy? I said, I can't believe how happy I am. Are you happy? He said, I really am. What would you change? And, but we both said nothing. And yet nothing is perfect, but it was perfect for us for the moment in time that we came here. And we'll be here January 21st, three years, and it really is, there's, it's remarkable. People think, yeah, yeah, you know, but it really is unbelievably wonderful.